hello guys this is Sumit here once again from study hub guys uh, this video is about the important changes or the new changes that have been introduced in the marking system of uh, Pearson test of English what are the changes whom is it gonna affect why have these changes been made um, and then how will it affect us and, and whom will it affect we're gonna be discussing all this in today's video guys first of all uh, if you I'm gonna share this uh, screenshot on the display as well on the screen as well now look at it students who need it now I'm gonna keep this video short and precise students who need it um, five bands in past they needed 36 points in PD in past now they only need 29 students in, who needed six bands for example 50 for uh, so, so earlier it used to be 50 five zero now it's gonna be 46 so it's easier uh, students who needed seven bands mainly for nursing registration or some other reasons seven bands which used to be 65 it is now 66 so there is the the difference here is insignificant uh, however the major difference is for eight bands students who needed 79 points earlier um, 79 points earlier in Pearson test of English they now need 84 for 20 20 points for in order to get 20 points towards their visa um, that is one of the major change uh, that's there so second question is guys why have they made these changes uh, the main reason is guys uh, the score uh, concordance is a regular activity matching the score with other similar exams is a regular activity undertaken by test providers um, and it is important for Pearson to re-evaluate and validate their uh, scores with other major tests. Now, what are they reflecting? What are they talking about? They're talking about IELTS, I-E-L-T-S um, exam. The results should be used as a guide or recommendation when considering the test score comparison of Pearson, PD, Academic and IELTS. So what it means is, guys, they want to make their exam very similar to IELTS exam, their score. A lot of students were finding scoring um, eight bands in eight points in PDE is much easier than IELTS. Now what they have done is they've made it a little bit more difficult um, to score eight bands um, to match it with IELTS. That's what they have mentioned. Uh, the other question is, guys, um, will Australia, New Zealand, and United UK governments now be changing their score requirements for the visas? Well, Pearson says that they have updated uh, the government partners uh, about the out out outcome of this particular study. And it is their decision as to whether they make these changes on the score uh, to the square score requirements for their visa applications or not. So Pearson has notified the government of uh, immigration department. Um, now it is it is up to them if they make these changes or not. Um, it is a release of research. This is a release of our research findings pending the, their review. Governments and institutions may decide to make the changes to their requirements. So this is a this is a suggestion given by Pearson Test of English PDE um, oh, to, to 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 immigration department and 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 other places who use these particular exams. Um, no, is it is has it happened? Have they accepted us? Uh, it doesn't say that so far. The next thing is I scored if a student has scored 79 to apply for their permanent residency already. Now will it change to 84? Now does that mean that their test is invalid and they have to take a new exam? Well, Pearson says on their website, Pearson has updated our government partners on the outcomes of their concordance study. It is their decision whether to make these changes to score requirement for visa application. Now, Pearson has notified them. It is now up to the government whether they make these changes or not. Now, what is also happened this morning, we contacted Pearson Test of English. When we contacted Pearson Test of English and we told them that that, that one of our students uh, has uh, scored 79 already. For example, uh, one of our students has already scored 79. Um, will it affect his score? Well, over the phone, Pearson mentioned no. It is mainly for, it will mainly be applicable for new exams, new students. Until now, it has not been accepted by government. Until today, this morning, when I'm making this video, it doesn't say on the immigration website uh, that, 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 that these changes have been accepted. So I personally believe if people are taking exams now or soon, until these changes are introduced, uh, they will still 
probably come under the previous rules, not the new ones. Uh, is it 100% that government is going to accept these these new rules, means new changes? Well, we don't know, but it looks like it appears if the test taker has uh, uh, done some research and if they have they are recommended these change, recommending these changes, um, it it feels like it, it it appears that more than likely it will be accepted. Uh, but but is there any? I mean, is it already accepted? No, it's not so far. Uh, now guys a little bit about us study hub we provide training online classes and in class uh, classes uh, to students who are preparing for PSN test of English PTE uh, we have helped students improve from 35 to 90 in a short period of time and now I'm going to talk about some of the scores that we've improved from a very low from very low to very high for example I'm going to start with the first one yes um, I'm going to start with the first one. Student started with a score of 35. Lipika, very hardworking student. A while ago, we've done it. Um, 35, we started with uh, after four sessions of 5P speaking course. We were able to improve the score to uh, 77. And then later on, we were able to improve the score to uh, 8 bands as well 87, 86, 90, and 85. The same thing we've done with a number of students. For example, um, if I talk about the next student, Neha started with the score of 43 in speaking 58 65 64 um, and then later on we were able to bring our score to 8 bands 86 83 90 and 88 um, we're talking about talking about zoni um, we started with a score of 57 54 75 57 57 um, and then after about four weeks we were able to bring our score to 75 75 89 and 81 and then three weeks after so she stopped her training here and then she needed 80 in the next uh, uh, in, in the next year um, then she came back and we helped her with 90 90 90 and 90 and to the extent I remember Zuni spent three weeks after this from moving from this score to this score i think if zuni is watching this video she'll remember this as well she may comment there as well uh, but that's what we've done um other other st student orvinder we started with 61 56 56 61 and then we were able to bring our score to 77 75 90 and 83 these first two are the before scores and this is the after one um so this is how we've helped a lot of students we've had pamoda from 42 to almost um, 8 each, uh, 42, 64, 70 and 81 and after two classes of speaking 5P uh, we brought it to 74 and then it's 8 each. And now recent scores, some of the very recent ones I'll talk about. Um, now while I was talking to you, while I'm making this particular video, uh, when I started making this particular video we've got another score as well um, and this score is for Viva. Now Viva took her exam um on 27th of november and her report was out 27th of november a couple of days ago but she has sent her the, her the score today and what she has scored is 87 90 90 86 um and that's what she has scored today um a lot of our students we are taking online classes morning and evening day and night um monday to friday we've got courses like 21 day challenge we are helping we are helping a lot of students uh from uh, different countries for example uae uh, we've got Venketa who scored 89, 77, 78, 85, uh, 84, 86, 90, 86. That's for Tebeha. Um, we've got uh, Shruti who scored 81, 74, 90, and 67. Online student, online student from US, uh, 84, 90, 89, 71. Uh, Ramya, uh, Mihir, 82, 80, 77, 81. Uh, Madhu, uh, uh, Madhu, uh, uh, sorry, Madhu Rahman. Uh, we've got 87, 90, 86, and 90. Again, a beautiful 8 each. Um, uh, online student, another online student, Aditya, from India, 87, 85, 90, and 81. Um, Deepika, 80, 90, 88, 87. We've got Mihir, 82, 80, 80, 77, 81. We've got Prateek, 90, 90, 90, 88. Shihan, 88, 90, 90, 89. Now, I, I, I might just go through all. The, go through this all day 86 84 90 and 85 students are getting them every day each and every day if you are looking for these type of scores as well guys take our courses for example talk to us on the given number on the screen um 21 day challenge unlimited courses there are different courses and we help students every day um i don't think there is any need to panic about these changes students who are preparing from overseas to come to australia i think things have made things have been made easier but students who are applying for their permanent residency yes they have to score a little bit higher but i don't think it's gonna affect 
significantly in long run but yes in short run it may it is always good to prepare for your exam sooner rather than later we've got some courses in which even if your visa is pending uh, you want to enroll now at the discounted prices and then you want to take your take your course a little bit later a few months after as well um, or even six to eight months after as well you can still do it of course students who have a higher score will will get the upper hand uh, a better chance of getting the exam or clearing the exam uh, but uh, again don't panic study hard uh, talk to your migration agent have a chat with them and work on a plan which is which is right now get ready make a plan right now so you're ready for the changes like well in advance don't leave it to the last minute um, your visa have a proper plan there guys i think the video was helpful i think you have i guess and i, I hope you've learned a lot uh, take care guys have a wonderful rest of the day